Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 5th of April, 2017. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures market, uh, Chart. It's the daily chart, the broad market, futures form. Pretty flat. Nothing happened today, that's for sure. It was, uh, we spent the entire day in the value area and just a really, really boring action. Um, that was both the ES and the NQ. So we'll go through the daily charts. We'll look at the intraday action, talk about what's coming tomorrow. And then get ready. So we've got, uh, by the way, here still, if we got a tick up, we'd have to gain about uh, 10, maybe 11 points on the ES. That would give us a 13 sell symbol on the, uh, just for, keep that in mind. Crude oil up 85 cents to 51.10, back on the rise. Gold up $3.70 to 12.57.70. S&P cash gained one uh, point. That's, uh, like I said, very flat. NDX gained eight, which is pretty flat, a blip as well. Remember, there's still a 13 sell signal in place here. SOX down five. Biotechs up five, which is a blip on a 3,000 point index. The VIX down 59 cents back to 11.79. Boy, this VIX has been low for a while. We need the VIX to get back up in the high teens. Trend gets a 0.88 close, 10 day moving average 1.24. NASDAQ volume down from Monday, which is disturbing. 1.6 billion shares just over it. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, negative 481. So even though the NASDAQ was up eight points, more stocks down than up on the NASDAQ. Meanwhile, we talk about flat. Advanced decline ratio on the New York, four. Four more stocks up than down. That's about as even as you can get it. Google loses uh, $4.18 after being up the day before. Apple up another buck oh seven because why not? That's a new closing high on Apple. Amazon up 15.32, another big day. By the way, that's 11 towards the 13 sell signal on uh, Amazon, the last sell signal topped us out for a month and a half. So just keep that in mind. Netflix down a buck forty-two. Remember, there's a thirteen sell signal in place there. So far, perfect. Tesla up five. New closing high on Tesla, now the largest U.S. car company. TLT down sixty-six cents. Dow Jones was up thirty. Goldman Sachs gained thirty cents. It was lower for most of the session. Here's a look at the ES five-minute chart. So again, Monday was. Fairly tame, but we had some back and forth, at least, as you see Tuesday. Small gap down. We filled the gap about an hour and a half in. And the rest of the day, it was just it spent basically in a five-point range. Came out almost dead even. NASDAQ side, here's a look, a little different. Just, again, the eight-point positive plus eight for the day is all in the last 30 minutes. And that was flat. So, you know, measuring day, start of the new quarter on Monday. Hopefully, you know, things can get rolling again here on Tuesday. Let's take a look in terms of economic data that we have coming out. Uh, we got the MBA Mortgage Index at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. We got the ADP Employment Change at 8:15. ISM Services 30 minutes into the market. Crude oil inventory is the weekly number. An hour in, no big deal. One thing to keep an eye on: the minutes of the last of the from the last Fed meeting come out at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So we'll see if there's anything there that wasn't discussed in the uh, news conference after the announcement. Uh, Wednesdays can be good days. Thursdays can be good days. So we'll see. What we got left this week, um, if anything, as we head in the unemployment numbers on Friday. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.